welcome back to the channel, folks. Thanks for being here. Please hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, thanks for being here. And give me a big old fat like. Today, we're doing oil pump. Now, we've gotten a lot further, gotten a lot of stuff done here. But I wanted to do a video on the oil pump because I don't know, maybe one person might need it. And that's what matters. So, let's get on it. Okay, so, here's my new oil pump. 26 millimeter, and I mic'd them, the gears. There's the two gaskets. It comes with a gasket kit, the main kit. I bought new nuts. I think I got them from Air Cold, and they have the crush in it, so it seals. Got my torque wrench set at 14 pounds. It's all set, and one thing you wanna make sure you do when taking the oil pump out or in, there's the front of your engine, okay? Loosen that nut up. I loosen this one and that one, and it opens this up a little bit, okay? So that's done. I'm gonna be using, where are you at? There you are, aviation for my gasket. You don't have to do this, I do. Does it mean I'm right? I don't know, but that's what I do. So do what you see fit. Some people put the gasket right on, some people use thick Parmatex. I don't like to do that. I don't wanna get in any engine, so. That's what I use, so let's get on it. All right, I'm going to put some sealer around here. We'll see how crazy I get, how much of a mess I make. Hopefully not too bad. Whoop, there you go. There, first you gotta drip it on your pants. All right, once you do that, then you're good to go. You don't gotta go crazy. You just want it to seal. Make sure you wipe the inside if you get it inside of there. And you spilled on the floor. Wow, what a nightmare I'm running into today. Of course, because I'm filming. That's how that happens, okay. Some put it on the gasket and then work it around it, but these gaskets are kind of thin. I didn't want to have it all over the place, rip the gasket, then I'd throw fit, the whole ordeal. So it doesn't look like it's on thick enough to me. Okay, and I'm going to take my rag and wipe it off the stud now. You don't have to use this. It's up to you what you do. It's just the way I do it. So, don't know if I'm even right doing this. I'm just kidding. I know other people that use this. Some people use gasket cinch too. But after I opened mine, I realized it was bad. So take your first thick gasket, put it on there. Okay, now I'm going to put it on the other side of it. There we go. Okay, all right. Now you can see where the slot is in your cam in there. I don't know if you can see that. Sure you can, right there. Okay, the shaft gear is gonna go up top. So we're gonna slide this in there, just like that. Okay, let's get our gears. Now what we're gonna do with the gears is prime them. Gonna put a little grease around them, okay? Let me turn this this way a little. Is that better? All right. Put a little bit of grease around them. I'll show you in a second here. Let me put it around first. 
just regular grease, nothing special. If you just don't want that dry starting, it'll prime it to get the oil pumping in here. You don't gotta go crazy, I don't believe. Okay, got a little grease in there. We're going to put this in. You should fill its seat. There we go. Seat it in the cam. Let me do the other gear. Okay. So we're going to set that one in there. Take a little rag here, because I'm a messy person. Got it everywhere, as usual. I'm messy, messy, messy. Okay. Make sure your dots are facing out towards you. Almost poked you in the eye, didn't I? Okay, now we are ready for the next gasket. I'm going to slip it on just like that. Our plate. I didn't uh, paint mine or make it fancy. So do what you want. Remember, crush side goes in towards the motor. That's going to help seal around them holes. Okay. Thirteen millimeter deep well. Make the ratchet go the right way and you set. Don't go running these on with even a small gun. Just take your time. Crisscross. I'm probably in front of you now. Wow. These are some long studs. Okay, last thing to do, let me check my torque wrench, and it is set at 14 foot-pound. So, right there, right there. Get, we got to tighten these bolts back up for the case because we had loosened this, this, and this to spread that a little. Make sure you tighten them back up. There are also 14 foot pounds. So let's do that right now. Come on. There you go. And. All right, and then this bottom one, grab a wrench if the bolt spins on the other side. Okay. There we go. Wait a minute, that didn't feel right. Okay. So you've tightened them back up. Let me check something a minute. I thought I loosened that one. I got carried away with loosening some of these up. Can't hurt to check your bolts while it's apart. So like I said, before you pull your oil pump, loosen that one there, that one, and that one. There, there, and the one at the bottom, and then your oil pump will slide out. If in fact it don't, use an oil pump puller tool. I'll show you it right here. Then you can pull it right out. It can't hurt to go up through and retorque these bolts.
Okay, so the oil pump is installed. Next, we'll be moving on in the next video to putting all the sheet metal on, the cooling tins, fan shroud. I get to do an alternator video because I have it all apart and I got a new alternator sitting somewhere. But okay, there is your oil pump installation and that was actually requested by somebody. So that's it, our 1600cc, I'm sorry, 1641 is coming along good. Uh, rock arms are adjusted, oil pumps in, heads on, you know, all that, everything's torqued. The oil cooler, I put new seals on, and that should be about it. So stay tuned for more. Please share the channel. Let's get it up there on YouTube so more people see it. Thanks so much.